A few months back, I uploaded a video on how to create your own Android cell phone application to control an LED using Arduino, HC-05 Bluetooth module and an Android cell phone. For the best understanding, I used only two buttons, light on and light off. These two buttons are used to turn on and turn off the LED. The same thing can be done by using only one button which is called a toggle switch or a toggle button. Previously I used an LED so that's why this time I decided to use a 220 volt AC light bulb. Later you can increase the number of toggle buttons to control multiple loads. This application is designed in Android Studio and is developed by the Programming Digest. The source code and the APK file can be downloaded from the programmingdigest.com. You can find a link in the description. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The HC-05 or HC-06 Bluetooth module TX and RX pins are connected with the Arduino pin number 2 and pin number 3. While the VCC and ground pins of the Bluetooth module are connected with the Arduino 5 volts and ground. A 12 volt SPD single pole and double throw type relay is used to control the AC load. This relay has a total of 5 pins. Out of these 5 pins 2 are the coil pins common, normally open and normally closed. This relay is controlled by the driver circuit which consists of the transistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. This is a general purpose NPN transistor. As you can see, the emitter is connected with the ground, the collector is connected with the relay coil pin while the other side of the relay coil is connected with the 12 volts. The base is connected with the Arduino pin number 13 through a 10K resistor. A diode is connected across the relay coil which is used for the big EMF protection. You can use a ready-made relay module or you can make the one by yourself. As you can see this is a 3 channel relay module but out of these 3 relays currently I am using only one relay which is connected with the Arduino pin number 13. And make sure you connect the relay module ground with the Arduino's ground. The Bluetooth module is connected with the Arduino's as per the circuit diagram already explained. I started off by including the software serial library. The software serial library is used to create serial ports. You can define multiple serial ports. If you are using the Arduino Mega, then you don't need to use the software serial library. As you know, in Arduino Mega, we have multiple serial ports. But when it comes to the Arduino, we have only one serial port which is available on pin number 0 and pin number 1. As I always said, never use the Arduino's default serial port for communication with other devices. The Arduino's default serial port should only be used for the debugging purposes. So using the software serial library, I defined a serial port for the Bluetooth module on pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. The variable data is of the type long integer and is used to store the number sent from the Bluetooth application. This number can be 6 digits long to increase the security. Relay is connected with the Arduino pin number 13 which is already explained in the circuit diagram. These are the two passwords which are used to turn on and turn off the load. You can increase the security by using numbers consisting of six digits. In every Arduino or Mega program, we have at least two functions which are the white setup and while loop functions. The white setup function executes only one time when the Arduino or Mega board is turned on, while the while loop function executes forever until we turn off the board. In the white setup function, the relay is set as the output using the pin mode function. The relay is turned off by using digital write function and finally the serial communication is activated. In the white loop function, if the Arduino has not received any data from the Bluetooth module, then simply wait over here. This condition means if the Arduino has received data from the Bluetooth, 
then store the received number in data and compare this with the predefined values and then turn on and turn off the relay accordingly. So that's all about the Arduino programming. Due to the tutorial time limitation, I'm not going to explain all the designing steps and programming in this video as it has a lot of coding and needs a lot of time to explain everything. To make things simpler, I explained all the designing steps and programming in an article which is available on the programmingdigest.com. I have added so many pictures that will help you understand how the designing and programming is done. This tutorial completely explains how to use the PNG images as the button, how to send data to the Bluetooth module and how to generate the APK file. I have already installed the app now. Let's watch this project in action. As you can see the Arduino is already powered up. I'm using a 12 volt adopter. As you can see currently the LD is blinking fast which means that this Bluetooth module is not connected with the Android cell phone. Make sure you have already paired the Bluetooth module. Open the Android application. As you can see, the LD is blinking at a lower rate, which means that this module is connected with the Android cell phone application. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.